first of all, I have a cold. So I need y'all to try to be patient and just deal with me while I have a cold. Because really, I didn't really feel like filming tonight at all because I've had this cold for a while. And uh, it's just now clearing up, but I still have it. But I'm going to go ahead and try to film for y'all for a little bit. So what we're talking about right here is we have basically two arrow speeds. The first arrow speed is the newer design as far as the grills is concerned. And they kind of changed the design a little bit on the handle as far as the holes are concerned. Like right here. As you can see right here, the holes are way bigger. Can y'all see it? The holes are way bigger. And the guard has got a brand new or different design. The motor finally has what I like to often refer to as oil ports, but not in the sense of the old ones, the old vintage ones, but just open bearings in the back and in the front. So you got to forgive me if I call them oil ports because basically that's what it is. You can put oil in the motor to make it last longer. Okay? The old version over here with the wavy grills, unfortunately, Aerospeed didn't think about the customers enough to give them that motor. Now they have. The problem is this. The blades are out of balance. And that's not good at all, that the blades are out of balance. Let me show you the holes on the old one. Not sure if you can see that. Hopefully you can. If you can't, I do apologize. Let me see if I can try to bring it up to the camera so that way you can see it. There you go right there. Those are the smaller holes from the old one on the handle. And here is the newer holes. The holes are much wider, more circular, like round, like circles. And that's about it. The difference with this one is, is that it starts with low, medium, and high. This one right here starts with high, medium, and low. So that's the difference that Aerospeed has done. <clears throat> this arrow speed is rebranded for a comfort zone. The name comfort zone is integrated. It says comfort zone. But this one is just arrow speed. Now, that used to be the design that they used to do for comfort zone, arrow speed. But now even arrow speed has this new design. So they just changed the design of the grills and kind of put bigger holes inside the handle. And they reverse the speeds. Now it's low, medium, high instead of high, medium, low. The motor now has what I like to refer to as oil ports, but it's open bearings for easy oiling. So the fan will last longer as opposed to the older one. Unfortunately, they're still doing a poor job on the guards as far as the screws. When I try to put the screws in here, all it does is just spin around and spin around. It doesn't catch. It doesn't try to tighten up. And with this one over here, the old one, some of these screws are loose. They're just barely in there because the hose wasn't drilled in correctly. And because the blade is out of balance, the fans shake pretty badly. So arrow speed is still really screwed up pretty badly on those uh, areas as far as these box fans is concerned. Arrow speed has never got it right with those areas of the box fans. The ones I just talked about, that's all messed up. But yet... People still buy them. So basically, they're just sending that clear message to them that, hey, it doesn't matter how you make it, we're going to buy it anyway. So it's like, well, then why should Aerospeed correct those problems if people are going to buy it? That's the message that we're all sending, including me. I buy them. I'm pretty sure some of y'all out there got them. We're all sending them that message. Why should you correct the problems if we're buying them? Okay? If you want, oh, hold on a second. Let me turn the TV down. I do apologize for that. TV is super loud. I do apologize for that. If you want them to correct these problems, then you need to boycott it. You need to stop buying their products all together, everybody, worldwide. And that will send the message clear to them, hey, we got to do something about this. We got to fix these problems. 
so that the fans will sell again. But because nobody's doing that, they can care less about fixing the problems. All right, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and run them. Keep in mind, this one starts off on low and the other one starts off on uh, high. So we're going to put all both of them on high. Correction, this one starts off on low, medium, high, and this one is high, medium, low. Do apologize for that. They're both shaking pretty badly, but interestingly enough, they don't fall off the table. You can see the new one shaking pretty badly. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's move. It's shaking pretty good, but it's not gonna fall over. That that blade is terribly out of balance, just like the other one is. I don't know why Camera can't get their act together on the damn fan blade and fix the damn guard. Excuse my language. I don't know why they can't do that. I don't understand what their problem is. But like I said before, we're sending that message clear to them. Like, hey, we can care less if you fix it or not. We're still buying your fans. The only way to get them to correct that problem is if we stop supporting them. It reversed the speeds on the new one than it was on the old one, so. But yeah, these fans are shaking pretty good. But the interesting thing about it is the cabinet, the cabinet is made right, which is one of the reasons why they're not falling over. The other reason why it's not falling over is because these fans are not all that powerful. If they was powerful like the 3733, I'm pretty sure they would have fell over by now. All right, the spin down and the out of balance blades when they turn backwards, just like the Air Kings. They're following Lasco's lead, which is terrible. Backwards, backwards. Well, that one didn't do it, but usually it does. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, love, like. More videos come soon. And God bless y'all. And go. Lamont the Fan Man. And out.